Anthony from the Falls Road Animal Hospital is here with a bunny named Cappuccino. Now that's a wacky, nice name. It's a very sweet name, and I think it's appropriate for him. He's he's right uh, right about the right color for it. Mm -hmm. So and he's a very cute little guy. But he keeps looking at me out of the side of his face. <laughs> well, that would be normal since they have <laughs> the eyes on the side of their face. <laughs> Uh, okay, we'll look, come back to the bunny in a minute. Let's get to the questions. My dog barks at people who walk by the house. Do you have any tips for ways I can communicate with her effectively to let her know this is not what I want? Well, uh, you're going to be looking at several things. Uh, essentially, you're going to need to probably involve some sort of behavioral training, try to distract her. Uh, maybe bring out a toy or something so she comes over to you and maybe give her something else to do while that's happening or tra train her to go sit on a mat or something like that instead of telling you what's going on out there. Sometimes they're actually scared and they're telling you that they're a little nervous. Okay. I acquired a new baby ferret named Taz. He seems to prefer using the litter box as a bed instead of what it's meant for and uses his cage for the other. Any tips on how to break this habit? A combination of things again as well. Uh, I would recommend making sure the cage is kept super clean so he's not getting the smell of anything in the cage itself. Uh, maybe try a different litter type. Some, some ferrets prefer one versus another and try to take him out of there anytime he does it and then praise him heavily anytime he does his business in the litter box. Okay, let me just ask you about Cappuccino. Okay. What can Cappuccino do? What's what do you do with a rat? Oh, these guys can be very playful. They, they like to play with toys. They like to, you know, chew on lots of things. Um, they'll hop around. They'll chase. They'll play chase with you. I've seen them play chase with other animals in the house, too. So. Mm -hmm. And there's a multiplication issue. Well, if you have uh, <laughs> a male and a female that are uh, still intact, yes, there could be a multiplication issue. Yeah. Okay. All right. So <laughs> get on down to the Falls Road Animal Hospital and take yes, care of that. Yes, get them spayed and neutered. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome. Thank Sarah. you. Sarah.